I'll show you how to automatically send out a Gmail whenever a Google form is submitted. Without further ado, let me show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. So first of all, you need to go to Google Drive, create a folder. Once you have created a folder, first thing you need to do is to create a form. Once your form is created, first thing, I'm going to change the Google form title. In this case, I'm going to call mine, change, uh, change it to send Gmail automatically with Google form submission. Okay, once I'm done, I can just include my first questions. Maybe I would just want to ask you, what are you using this automation for? And I'm going to change the type to paragraph. Once I'm done, I need to click on responses. You notice that there is this option to link to sheets. So this is a part where if you click on it, you have two options, either create a new spreadsheet or select existing spreadsheet. This is what I like to do. Before I choose these options, let me cancel this. I'll go back to my G Drive folder and create a Google Sheet. Okay, I'll just create a Google Sheet. Again, over here, I will give it the same name as my Gmail. This is just the convention that I like. With Google Form Submission. Okay, so these are just the options that I like. Once I've created this Google Sheet, I'll go back to the Google Form click on, uh, make sure you're on responses tab, click on link to sheets, select existing spreadsheet, select. And over here, you can select send Gmail, uh, the, the Google sheet that you've just created previously. Double click on it. It's going to open up a new tab and you can see that a new tab has automatically been created for you. Next, you will need to click on extensions and click on app script. Now that app script has been loaded, first thing first, I always like to rename the project. So my convention is to set it as the same name as my form and my Google Sheet. Send Gmail automatically with Google Form Submission. Rename. Okay. Now, over here at app script, this is where we'll define uh, what we would like the automation to do. So you can just follow along if you need to. So the function, this function name, I'll just change it and call it on form submit. As the value that this function is taking, I will just include E. Now, I would like to get the form data when the form has been submitted. So I'll define a variable called form data equals to E dot name values. So this is just a way for me to get the form data upon submission. Now that I have the form data, I would like to first get the email address from the form. So I'll define a variable called email address. And within the form data, I can just extract email address. And then I will get the email address from the first index. You may be wondering, what should I put over here? So you notice that email address, if you go to your Google Sheet, it actually corresponds to the header of this column. It's called email address. Of course, if you have to call it something else, uh, you have to change it accordingly. The key to this form date, it has to match with this. All right, let me just put in a comment here. This assume that the email address is the field name. Now that I have the email address, the last step that I need to do is really to just define the email subject and message. So for the subject, let me just call it thank you for submitting the form. As for the message, your form has been submitted successfully. See you again. Maybe I'll just sign off with product mail. As for my last line, it is going to be the actual sending of the email. So I'll need to use Gmail app and use a function called send email. And this send email function, it takes in a few things. There is some example being given to us. I can just copy this whole thing and paste it here. Now, the first argument is going to be the recipient email address. In this case, I'm going to replace it with email address. As for the subject, I will replace it with my subject. As for the third argument, it will be the actual message. 
Once done, I just click on save project. Now, before this whole thing actually works, what I like to do is I just like to click run to just allow the Google script to have the right permissions. So let me just click on run. You'll notice that an authorization is required. I just have to click on review permissions. At this page, if you were to see something like this, just click on advanced. And if you see something like this, just click on this link to proceed. So once you're done, you know, just select the uh, Gmail accordingly to grant the access. Ah, this is the part I'm talking about. So you notice that some of you may see this, some of you may not. Click on advanced. So I just have to click on go to um, these options, even though it's unsafe, just click on it, all right? Once I'm done, it will show me what is the access being granted. In this case, it's going to be Gmail and I just have to allow it. All right, once I'm done, it failed as expected, right? <laughs> Um, because right now we're just triggering this manually. Hence, there's actually a, a, the, the, the name value right now is actually undefined because there is no form submission if we run it like this. So now that we have this function, the last thing that we need to do, the last thing is we need to go to triggers. Over here, create new trigger. Or you can click on add new trigger, right? Add trigger. Which function to run? Of course, it's on form submit. This is a function that we need to run. For this um, deployment to run, just choose it as the head. For the event, event source is going to be from the spreadsheet. For the event type, you need to change it to on form submit. Okay, this is very important. You need to change it to on form submit. Once you are done, just click save. All right, it's telling me that it may take a while. Oops. Oh, script authorization failed. Your profile blocker setting and try again. Okay, let me just double check. Okay, in this case, uh, pop-up block, uh, I just need to allow it. Okay, let me try again. All right, so in this case, you can see that um, it is asking me to choose an account again. So in this case, I will just choose one of the account. The same thing, don't worry about it, just click on advance, scroll all the way down, just proceed even though it's unsafe. So now it's telling me that uh, I need to grant additional access to Gmail. Just allow it, all right? Wait a moment. All right, we have successfully set up the trigger. The last thing we need to do is to test it. To test it, we we'll first need to get the link to the Google Form. Let's go to the Google Form. Click on Send. You see this link icon? You click on it. I always like to shorten the URL. Once I have the URL, I copy it. Once I copy it, uh, I'll need to test it. So how do I test it? So over here, I've switched to uh, my other account, other Gmail account. I open up a new tab and paste the Google form. And I just try to send a submissions over here. So let me answer the questions. What are you using these automations for? In my case, I am using it for my day-to-day -day admin tasks. Once I'm done, click on submit. We should expect to see the email coming in over here in our inbox. As you can see, the email has arrived. Your form has been submitted successfully. See you again, product mail. So that shows that our automations is successful. So with that, we have successfully created the automations that allows us to send out a Gmail whenever a Google form is submitted. I've included a link in the description below for you to download this code. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because it's really going to help this channel grow. I'll see you in the next video.